everyone, thanks so much for joining me today for this video. I wanted to share with you a few little studies I painted of a moth and two butterflies. So what you're seeing here, uh, the moth I'm painting is called an atlas moth and it's one of the three beautiful creatures I painted today. Um, that was actually the only one I could pronounce, so <laughs> there's that. I started off with an underpainting in burnt umber and then I started to bring in some colors. Now, I didn't just want to paint moths to look exactly as they are in real life. I wanted to add my own little flair to them and something I very often like to do in my work is add green to the shadows. I like to exaggerate that tone and other colors as well, just to have them look realistic but create kind of an atmosphere that's different from what it would look like in real life. I painted these studies on these 3x3 three three inch wood panels and the inspiration came from these preserved moths and butterflies that I saw um, in a frame at this restaurant in Manhattan. So I guess it's quite odd that my inspiration to paint a creature that's typically found somewhere in nature or in like a forest was actually found in the middle of a huge city. I It's kind of funny and strange how inspiration works and where you find it. It's so unpredictable. You can honestly literally find it anywhere. You just have to be open to it. Sometimes it can happen just by being more attentive of your surroundings and when you get in the habit of doing that, it comes more naturally. To be able to find something you can be inspired by basically anywhere you go. It's kind of an art form in itself and I used to sit around torturing myself like why am I uninspired? Why am I not doing anything? Why can't I make art? But then I realized that I just had to be more attentive and document things more. When you document things, if you take a lot of pictures or you know a lot of videos or you conceptualize a lot of sketches you write a lot, whether it's your ideas or ramblings, anything in your head. If you get in the habit of doing that as those ideas arrive, you're just going to have a bunch of material to work with later on to create things from. You don't necessarily even have to use it right away. Like I have a huge plethora of pictures that I take because I know I'm gonna wanna paint that someday. I might not actually ever need it, but I want to have it just in case because that's a clear visual image of a memory that I was in. And sometimes I like to go back on those places in my mind and recreate them and paint them. So yeah, I, I just think it's great to do a lot of conceptualizing, a lot of documenting because if you get in that habit, um, you're just you're gonna have a lot of material to work with to create paintings from, write stories from, or make videos or music, anything. Because if you just let them sit in your mind, they'll eventually get pushed back and pushed back more and forgotten because our minds are so busy, you can't possibly remember in detail every single idea for a project that you get. So I find that with myself at least, if I don't write them all down or do something like document aspects of my life or things I find beautiful, I do forget them eventually because I'm constantly experiencing new things in the world. I went on quite the tangent there, as I usually do, and I do appreciate you all listening and joining me in this conversation about art. This last uh, dark butterfly you're watching, I'm actually going to finish later. So it's unfinished where the video ends. You're not gonna see the finished piece in the video, but the other two are going to be in my art store. Also by request, I made some prints of my painting Floralysis. They're limited to 50 prints only. So just 25 and 11 by 14 and 25 in eight and a half by 11. I also have a larger piece I've been working on. It's on the way. I thought I'd give you guys a little bit a sneak peek of that painting. I'm also thinking of making these little moth and butterfly paintings into a little series, like to continue on with all these different kinds of butterfly and moth species on these three by three inch panels. I think it'd be a fun project. I don't know, would you guys be interested in seeing that? I'm gonna do them either way, so <laughs> I can document it if you guys want. Thank you so much for watching this video and for all of your support in my art. I'm very thankful for all of my patrons for helping me continue making art to share with you all. I hope you have a beautiful week and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys!